life is a contradiction, dreary in every aspect. But how can a life be lifeless? I was the invisible monster, but now people can't take their eyes off of me. The transition is enough to make your heart explode, like a drastic change in sea level during a deep sea dive. Follow him like I'm his golden goose. Then again, following people is what I do best. Happiness is hard when you're alone. When I'm lucky enough to feel it, I'm like a kid trying to catch a snowflake. Holding on to it as long as I can until it slips away. Some would call it depression. I call it an inconvenience. using goddamn similes, trying to relate myself to other things, just like how I follow strangers trying to relate myself to other people. Thank you. 
understand their routines than their lives. It's my way of getting to know people without them knowing me. Satire of my suffering mocks me everywhere I go. My life's pathetic parody. I feel like a caged animal. Neglected by the zoo. Begging for attention from the people that pass me by. Or maybe just ready to tear the world apart if I ever find a way out. Casper Harris is the kind of guy that eats up the world before it has a chance to swallow him whole. Skydiving through life because he gets a rise from the fall. Usually people run in the other direction when they find out who I am. Who my father is. I'm an ugly scab that you can't stop picking. <laughs> Shit! You look just like him! But for Jasper, his scabs were scars. So for him, I was just a story to be told. Get the fuck out of the car! Get the fuck out of the car, you piece of shit! Get out of the fucking car! Get out of the fucking car right now! Hey! Don't look so spooked. Fucking poker face. Come on, man, get the fuck out of the car! You just dented my car, are you just gonna sit there? What the hell are you thinking? How are you gonna fix this? Most people are afraid of death because they hate the thought of being nothing. But if you already feel nothing, death sort of feels like something, doesn't it? Once you become more interested in death instead of life, everybody just looks like compost waiting to be put in the ground. That's real power. Where'd you learn something like that? I'm going to show you.
I can't help but wonder why I was supposed to bring this stuff. Robert Fletcher. It's a privilege to meet you. Anthony Shepard, I run the Kill Club. What? <laughs> or otherwise known as the Gore Group, filled with murder members. Ah, there's all sorts of fun, fucked up names. We're like a fantasy football league or a celebrity fan club. Or rather, our obsession be with jocks or celebrities, but rather killers, serial killers. Like your father, the crisis killer. Badass as fuck, by the way. My father was convicted of killing 58 people in the state of California. Dozens more unaccounted for. He is why I live in exile. Let me tell you, we are all fascinated with your father. And his kind of like, the psychology, the brutality, the horror that make up these predators that we just can't stop obsessing about. Yeah, people like to dress up, parade around. I find it a little distasteful myself, but teach their own. Well, I'm sure you can imagine that there's a lot of people here just dying to meet you. Look, 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 I know it can be a little overwhelming, but just relax, mingle a little. I'm sure you'll come to find that everyone is very friendly. I finally understood why Jasper told me to bring as much as my dad's stuff as I could. I've been told tragedy brings sincerity out in people. I never found that to be true. But these aren't those cheap knockoffs of people that give a shit. They don't just see me. They can't stay away from me. father killed because he was sick in the head. Why do you think he did it? Let me ask you something. What happened September 11th, 2001? The Twin Towers were destroyed. And what happened April 4th, 1973? And you shouldn't. Everyone knows when the World Trade Center collapsed, but nobody knows when it was built. Destruction is more memorable than creation. Death over life. I think he just felt like he was missing from the world. Do you think that made him feel more real? Maybe. Nothing feels real enough. I don't know how to explain it. It's like life needs contrast. Differences are emphasized by comparison. In a way, this club focuses on death and our journey to it, which helps us emphasize life and how we live it. This place makes everything feel more real, it makes everything pop. Like, like a terminal cancer patient having their last meal, but tasting for the very first time. So you're saying that some people can't see life clearly because they lack a perspective of death? Life without contrast is conformity. You know, your father killed my dad when I was still a little girl. And I always had the feeling I'd get a chance to meet you. that sent a cold shiver down every bone in my body. He beat me so bad, I couldn't recognize my own face.
When he was murdered, it was the first day of the rest of my life. Life's easier when certain people are gone. I know what you mean. You look like him, you know? My dad was a shitty person. Your dad was a shitty person. I'm hoping two wrongs will make a right, contrary to popular belief. Call me when you've joined or something. We'll celebrate. So, what'd you think? Yeah, it's different. I like it a lot. Yeah, it is different. You see, these people as kids felt more comfortable with the monsters underneath their bed than the people right outside their doors. To the world were outcast, damaged, twisted. But I find that those are the most genuine types of people. Because we're only called those things because we're unafraid to show who we really are. I think so too, I really do. When do you guys meet? When can I come back? I can't tell you unless you join. I'll join, I'll join. Sign me up. <laughs> it's not that simple. You gotta be initiated first. What the fuck are you doing? See, we have to know that you're actually committed. <laughs> Nobody's about to make you do anything that you don't want to. But it's a matter of whether or not the club adopts you as part of the family. You see, we're a group of people that accepts you for who you are, who you can be. This isn't a cult. This isn't chaos cloaked in unity. This is a rite of passage. And trust me when I say that nothing feels better than fulfilling a deeply buried animalistic need. What are you trying to say? You're asking me to kill someone? <laughs> no. No, I'm asking you to kill three people. Each inspired by a famous killer. Imitated. Just document it and show the club. Okay? It's all downhill after your first. We just gotta pop that cherry. Stop fucking around, it's not funny. Is this what you do? You just pick on the new guy? It's an application with a guaranteed admission. One that we've all submitted. I am not my father. Of course not. If you were, you would have saved me the monologue. Oh, and Robert. No children, but don't be afraid to challenge yourself.
help you? Just, just drop your keys, that's all. What, and you stop being good icebreaker by following my girlfriend for the past couple blocks? Huh? Is that uh, it? Let's just go. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Don't I know you? Wait, no, 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 you're that guy. I, I saw that show the other day. You're related to that serial killer, Emmett Fletcher. The, the crisis killer, yeah. You're related to him. Seriously, let's just go. Wait, no, no, wait. No, no, dude, wait. Is it true that your dad actually fed you slices of his own victims, huh? He lied about me. It's, it's not all true. Let's just go. Huh, that fucked you up real good, huh? Yeah, sad story, man. Yeah, and for the record, I don't think your mom killed herself because of your dad. I think she killed herself because you look just fucking like me. I've always told people I'm not a bad person just because of my father. It's your experiences that make you rotten. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Should I, uh, smile or not? Just look as drunk as possible. So when the cop looks at it, he'll never think you're shit faced. He'll just think you're the village idiot. Well, this, uh, black light and scan. This was a scan on the ass crack of a Supreme Court judge. This isn't my first time making a fake ID, you know. Good. Once I get this, I can start, uh, upcharging the fuck out of those thirsty, baby faced middle schoolers. And we start buying some of the cute younger girls their first drinks. Probably have a better shot of them putting out than the stuck up bitches in my grade. <laughs> what do you think? I think you'd make a kill. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, that was easy!
It makes me sick. I thought Jasper naturally was assigned to me because he introduced me to the club. My serial sponsor. But I'm not so sure anymore. Jasper wanted to wait by the body. Said he had never smelled a rotten one before. We even turned up the heat. But I don't think we realized how long it really took. Hey. Don't think about it so much. This guy was a narcissistic womanizer. An aspiring rapist. Maybe he had brothers and sisters. A family. Even a dog. You? Just saved so many blossoming vaginas. Who cares if you had a family? Fuck them. And their dog. I always wanted a dog. Never had one? I tried. Humane Society would never let me adopt one. They always recognize me. What about the mutts? The ones they were gonna put down anyway. They thought I'd give it a less humane death. Serial killers always starting out with animals and shit. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's so fucked up. <laughs> My first murder was modeled after the Bloody Benders. Kate Bender would distract the man by a curtain until John Bender would pop out from behind it and bash the victim's head in with a hammer. They killed at least 11 people. I spent a lot of time with Jasmine trying to figure out the next kill. What about the BTK killer? Find torture kill? I'm not torturing anybody. There's the acid bath murder. Targets the wealthy, charms them into a warehouse, shoots them, then dissolves their body in sulfuric acid. Where are we gonna get sulfuric acid? Bed, bath, and beyond. Even if I couldn't go through with the next kills, even if my application goes unfinished, Jasper made me feel as if I'm not alone. Wait! Got it!
Robert Fletcher. Shut the fuck up. You have to do it. Do it, Robert Fletcher. But you have no choice. Do it, Robert. Do it, Robert Fletcher. Do it, Robert Fletcher. <laughs> Richard Ramirez, the Night Stalker. A serial killer who terrorized Los Angeles in the 80s. Stalking seemed like an appropriate skill I already had. He broke into homes, shot, stabbed, and raped. All in the name of Satan. He killed 13 people. Where'd you learn to do that? Guy I knew, Juvie, taught me. What were you in Juvie for? You know you deserved it, right? Same as the other guy. People like him, they're parasites. Following you around, trying to get any material they can to twist around for their sad little show. I bet that show came out the same time you did, huh? From Juvie? Sorry, Robert. Hitting someone in the sorry. back of the head, Say, that's easy. Looking at him face to face is something else entirely. You don't think I know that? No, I don't think you do. Christ. Just one more and then it's all over. I was thinking something clean, like maybe the hillside stranglers. It'd have to be a girl. What about somebody whose M.O. was strangulation? What? What's wrong? Anthony wants your last kill to be done after your dad. He won't accept anything else. No. I won't do it. You've come this far, Rob. 
all fucking forget it. Nothing. There's a reason why he told me last minute. I'll He's talk smart to you, like that. I'll convince him otherwise. He's not gonna see you. Not until you have complete footage. say a sign of a psychopath is to mirror someone else's life. To not have one of your own. My dad didn't have one of his own. He had a misplaced sense of identity. He was a loner. Maybe that's why we look so like. faces while they were conscious and try it on in front of them. He'd slit their major arteries and wash his face in their blood. Some called it an identity crisis and some called it a midlife crisis. I said I was nothing like my father. But now the only difference between us is that I chose to keep my victim asleep. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
You were never any part of it. I know that now. Why were you in juvie? The last time I saw my father, he made me drag my knees against the sidewalk. Someone would always take me in, and then call him, my dad, so he'd have an excuse to come inside. He was a salesman. I, th I thought he just found a clever way to get inside, make a sale. I got teased a lot when he got caught. Mostly behind my back. I had one friend, Sarah. I cared a lot about her. There was one time she was being picked on by a couple guys. They were giving her a hard time about me. When I saw it, Blacked out. But I hurt them. I hurt them pretty bad. I can still remember the way she looked at me after that. That's how everyone's been looking at me. Until recently. If it's any consolation, I never judged you. Thanks for teaching me the new trick. I'll repay the favor someday. Robert. Congratulations. Well done. Where do we go from here? Uh, hang out. I'm sure we can pawn off some more of your memorabilia. When do we get the schedule? When and where we meet? What's You'll... the next step? I have a lot of questions. You'll get it. Don't worry. I'll tell you everything real soon. Is that it? I thought it'd be a bigger deal. I thought there'd be more. Do you know how many kills it takes to officially be declared a serial killer? Well, I guess that makes us all serial killers then. <laughs> no. Just you. See, you're not just a copycat killer. You're the copycat killer. At least that's what they'll call you. I mean, how many chances do we get to cash out on a serial killer before he actually becomes one? They don't just grow on trees. You see our chapter? It's gonna be icons at next year's kill convention. Talk about some serious cash. Not to mention notoriety. 
You've done us a real service, and I thank you for that. I really do. Feel free to stick around and grab a drink. The cops won't be here for another five minutes. Give or take. Did Jasper know? What's this? It's the camera Jasper used. They turned me into exactly what everyone thought I was. He's shaking me like a magic eight ball, tossing me aside after giving him the future he's always wanted. said I'm not a bad person just because of my father. It's your experiences that make you